Johann Sebastian Bach was born to Johann Ambrosius Bach and Maria Elizabeth Lamarith on the 21st of March 1685 in Essenach, capital of the Duchy of Saxe Essenach, which is present day Germany. He was born into a musical family, with his father being the director of the town musicians. His uncles were also professional musicians who played as chamber and court musicians, composers, and church organists. In 1694, Bach's mother died and his father followed suit eight months later, leaving the 10-year-old Bach to live with his eldest brother, Johann Christoph Bach, who himself was an organist at the St. Michael's Church in Ordorf. Bach learned how to perform the copy music, though he was forbidden to do so at the time, due to the valuable nature of scores and black ledger papers which were expensive. His brother also taught Bach the use of the clavichord and exposed him to the works of great composers of the day, like the South German composer Johann Pachelbel. Bach also studied theology, Greek, French, Latin, and Italian at this time. Bach was then enrolled at a prestigious St. Michael School in Lundberg in April 1700 and spent two years there, in which time he was exposed to the culture of Europe. He also sang at the choir, played the happy scud and the school's three manual organs. After his graduation on January 1703, Bach was appointed court musician in Duke Johann Ernst Eel Chapel in Weimar. He spent 17 months there and gained fame as a reputable keyboardist. By August, he started playing the organ at the new church in Ernst and by 1706, Bach applied to the Blasius Church in Mahosin as an organist. After singing a cantata as part of his application in 1707, he was granted a job with a significantly higher salary, a better choir and improved conditions. At this time, Bach befriended and married his second cousin, Maria Barbara Bach, and also wrote the Goth East Main Konig, a cantata, for the inauguration of the new council. In 1708, Bach left Malhusen and returned to Weimar where he stayed as a director of music at the Ducal Court till 1714 with a well-funded contingent of professional musicians to work with. At the time of his return to Weimar, the composing of keyboard and orchestra works had just started and sustained. Bach used the opportunity to attain proficiency and confidence to add and extend to the prevailing structures. He learned to write dramatic openings adding dynamic rhythms and harmonic schemes. He also wrote the preludes and fugues that later became part of the monumental work The Well-Tempered Clavier and began work on the Little Organ Book which contained traditional Lutheran choral tunes that he set in complex textures. After his post in Hale in 1713, in 1714, Bach was promoted to the music director which was an honor that saw him perform a church cantata every month in the castle church. But he fell out of favor with Weimar in 1717 and was jailed for a month and later dismissed. However, he got hired immediately by Prince Leopold of Anhalt Koten to serve as the director of music in his court. Prince Leopold, a Calvinist, did not indulge in elaborate music. Therefore, Bach's work from this time with the prince was secular, a few of which were orchestral suits, sonatas and partitas, cello suits and Brandenburg concertos. Bach was a contemporary Handel, a fellow composer himself, and even though they were both born in the same year and just 80 miles apart, Bach and Handel never met. Although in 1719, Bach made the journey to Hill to meet with Handel, but Handel left the town. In 1730, Bach's eldest son, Wilhelm, traveled to Hill and invited Handel to visit the Bach family, but Handel never made the visit. In 1720, Bach's wife died and he remarried Anna Magdalena Wilke in 1721 and went on to have 13 more children with Anna. At the time, he relocated to Leipzig, Bach composed within three years and performed most of his cantatas, the first of which was the Die Ellinden Solen Essen and the BWV 75. He also composed more than 300 cantatas, but over 100 were lost to posterity. In March 1750, Bach suffered a bout of blindness and underwent surgery in April by John Taylor, a British eye surgeon who in modern day is perceived to have been a charlatan who blinded hundreds of people. On the 28th of July, 1750, 
Batch died of complication from the unsuccessful surgery of his eyes. He was buried in St. John's Cemetery in Leipzig in an unmarked grave for nearly 150 years before his remains were reburied at the vault in St. John's Church. But the building was destroyed during World War II, leading to Batch's remains being placed at the St. Thomas Church in 1950, where it currently is. A month after he died, his estate's inventory showed he had two lute happy scots, five happy scots, three violas, and three violins, two cellos, a lute, spinet, and a viola de gamba. The works of Josephus and Martin Luther were also among his possessions. His son, Carl Philip Emanuel, published Batch's works, The Art of Fugu, in 1751, although it was yet unfinished. Among his contemporaries, Batch was seen as one who devoted more attention to compositions, structure, even in the adjustments he made to other people's compositions. His cantatas has various forms of instrumentation, many have a large opening chorus. The expansion of his composition to a large-scale mass in B minor was never performed in full during his life. Batch was most popular in the time of his life as a renowned organist, composer of organ, and an organ consultant. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love